The tea is silent, okay? This is from France, France, okay? Make your tea silent. We are all practicing the different languages in this world. Praise the Lord. What up, it's your girl Mena. In this video, we are going to be going over my March fragrances. Now, if you haven't already, I did a video on my fragrances that I was wearing in February. There were six or seven of them that I was using in February. And because I have so many fragrances that I just love and cannot get through, I decided to take out six or seven to use in each month of the year. So this is going to be the fragrances that I'm using in March. And let's just get into it. Now, in case you're just wicked distracted, I'm gonna link this hair below. It is a half wig. So if you wanna see how I installed it, that video is on my reels on IG. Make sure you watch that. Oh, also make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you text me if you are in the US and wanna join my text community. And also comment if you have any of these fragrances or if you have one that you absolutely love and you want to tell me about it, I want to know because I'm actually building a collection. I didn't set out to do this. It just happened. It just fell upon me in a way. And I'm actually eh, really glad that it did, you know? Okay, so the first fragrance is Maison Francis Cajon from Paris, okay? And this is Gentle Fluidity. Now, I was very confused because I did smell this in Neiman's. I absolutely fell in love with it. The color, however, was not purple. So when I got it in the mail, I was like, excuse me, what is this? and then it didn't say gold on it. Later, I found out that the gold cap is what indicates that this is indeed the gold one. There is a silver one. I prefer this one. It's just mind-blowing how good this smells. It is fantastic. Now, I got this from Neiman's, like I said, and this is just so good. It's giving money. If you've been here for a while, you already know that I love scents that give money. Like, hello? Whether or not we have it, we need the fragrance to give money. Like, it's just, it's just what it is. Okay, so this does retail for $235, so it ain't cheap, but it's so worth it to me. I love having it, okay? So it's giving us juniper berries, nutmeg, coriander, musk. I love a good musk, okay? Ambery Woods, vanilla. It is so, so good. Like, it is not a scent for the week. I have doused myself with this. It is very strong. It lasts it is amazing. Like, you just need it. I don't need to be shaking it so much, getting bubbles inside. It is so amazing. This is very much like grown woman, about your business. You just need to add this to your collection at some point. Definitely, like I said, is a good point. So you want to be prepared to make this purchase. So you already know I have so many fragrances that for me, I'm like, every fragrance is for all occasions. However, if you purchased this, I would be with you if you only wore this on special occasions. It is that good. Another one from Sir Francis Cajon, is that how you say it? Correct me. <laughs> you can't, because you can't do voice notes. <gasps> Annoying, is Baccarat Rouge. The tea is silent, okay? This is from France, France, okay? Make your tea silent. We are all practicing the different languages in this world. <laughs> Praise the Lord. This one is so amazing as well. Now, I was not too crazy about this in the store. I was very taken aback by gentle fluidity, and that's the one I plan on getting, which is what I got. But then I told you in a vlog, I think, that I had met my friend Carmen, and I was like, oh my God, what do you have on? And she said, Baccarat Rouge. I was like, boom, done, end of story. That day on my way home, I purchased this because I was like, wow, on you, it smells so good. Everyone's pheromones are different. I do get that, but it just came to life because I smelled it in person that I was like, yeah, I need it. And I've worn it a few times. I love it so much. I just, I know it like, it came alive outside of the store and it is for me as well. These are unisex fragrances, I believe. This one, you may think it's a male fragrance, but I like it. I like musky fragrances, you know? I love the Fenty one and that one is, unisex but kind of musky like kind of manly but i love it you know so this is luminous and sophisticated baby amber floral and woody breeze yes the wood it it's got jasmine saffron cedar wood yep usually you'll find cedar wood in male fragrances but also unisex fragrances too and amber grish amber grish okay i haven't ever heard of that i love that that's so great <laughs> Oh, this perfume is guided by purity, sophistication, timelessness, and boldness of classism. 
reinvented. This is definitely a bold scent. It is so strong. I have doused myself with this also. It stays in your clothes. If you, you know, like, come on now, I'm not the only one. We're not washing our jackets every day. We're not washing sometimes these like overcoats and stuff every day. So mm -hmm, you spray yourself with your fragrance, you hang it up somewhere, you put it on again. And by the time you're like, ooh, what is that? These fragrances last. They're expensive. They're worth the investment. They're strong. They're sexy. They're sophisticado. They're not for the children, but I know all of us around here are women. You know, Uman, yes, you, <laughs> you are a Uman. <laughs> you need it, you need Gentle Validity Gold and you need Baccarat Rouge, period, okay? Okay, baby, now this was sent to me in PR and I had seen it as a new launch on socials, but I didn't have it, okay? And then I was like, oh, Victor and Rolf, thank you so much for sending these to me, right? So this is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. So good because I do have the other one. I can't think of the name. This is a warm floral and it's got Vine Peach Ruby Orchid, hence the name, and Bourbon Vanilla. Definitely love the vanilla. It's a luxurious fragrance. What does it say? Ruby Orchid and Red Vanilla Bean Accord, giving the fragrance an unequivocal sensuality, enhanced by the fret, what? Not you, you better go back to the screen I was on. Enhanced by the fresh scent of peach, floral, and vanilla fragrance. Okay, let's get a sniff. Oh, I do have my, I'm right to get, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, excuse me. Don't play with me. I don't like to play games. We do have our fragrance strips. We are professional. That's my nickname. Yes, it's warm floral for sure. It is so good. I've been spraying this day and night, usually night, and it's like like it's like getting in my nose. It's so good, okay? This is certainly, I would say, fruity, you know? So this would be great for, like I said, day or night. I mean, all of these day or night. You might, however, be one of those people who feel like the more darker, sensual, might be called masculine scented fragrances are for evening. But like I said, I'm not gonna deprive myself, you know? I'm just giving myself what I need at, at all times. So if I'm feeling Baccarat Rouge at 11 o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday, I'm gonna do Baccarat Rouge. I'm not gonna wait until 7 p.m. for dinner, you know? I just wanna do what I need. You know, are you with me? Oh my gosh. So this scent has a story with it that I will never forget. So if you saw my vlog from Dubai, you know that we stopped in Paris and I purchased this in the Paris airport. It is always going to have that significance for me. I wanted to have, ooh, Mm. I wanted to have something to remind me of Paris. This is obviously a French fragrance. It's Hermes, Twilly, Twilly d'Hermes, Eau Ginger. Ginger, look at me. I even picked up a, an accent while I was there. Ginger. <laughs> Listen, this is good. This smells like a grown woman, grown up. Like, again, back to it, mortgage. Maybe student loans you've been deferring for the past 10 years. You feel what I'm saying? You got a cable bill and it's in your name, you know, not your, not your kid's name. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's real, you know? This is like really serious. You have full coverage car insurance. You get what I'm saying? This is intense. I love the detailing on it. The scarf is so beautiful. The hat is the cutest. God, this smells so good. I'm blown away by Twilly Dermes. Now I smelled all three of them while I was there and I, off rip, I thought I would have liked the pink one, the pink bottle, the pink liquid, because I like pink, but I smelled it and I didn't like it. It was kind of peppery or something. I can't remember. There were two of them that I was like, mm-mm, don't like it. This one's a warm floral. You know I love warm florals. I do like woody scents and I do love warm and sweet gourmands, okay? This is a warm floral. It has ginger, peony, and cedar in it very unique never had a combination like this in my life my sister loved it so much that on our way back in the dubai airport i bought it for her at duty free because she just loved it so much it is so good it's so feminine it's so just lovely it's so lovely it's just it's just lovely you guys have mentioned before that you can just sense and feel my excitement when i talk about fragrances that the excitement is just real it's just true i love a good fragrance and if you had to choose one i would go with Twilly Dermes. Sephora sale is happening on April 7th. If you're if you're Rouge, which I am, and then of course I have different days if you are whatever, whatever. Make your list. And I actually am going to do a video 
of my recommendations for the Sephora sale. This is at Sephora. Sephora does sell Hermes online. So add that to your list. It is good. Save your 10, 15 or 20%, okay? Oh my God. So another reminder of my trip is this one by Giorgio Armani. This is C. Passion. Ain't as a passionné, éclat. Ekla. Oh my gosh. So what airport was this? Okay, this also was in the Dubai airport at Duty Free. I didn't have this particular one on my wish list. It was the regular one, but then while I was there, the lady was like, you know, this is exclusive. This dien dien And I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get it again. It's a reminder of the trip. So I got two fragrances while I was on that trip. I got this one. And I love to get the big bottles. If I love something, I don't want to, you know, finish too soon. So I got this one and I love it. Sephora does also sell this. And this is a fruity floral, okay? It's got rose and woody vanilla. Let's get a reminder about how amazing this smells. It's mixing in with whatever I've already smelled spray, so it's like confusing me. But yeah, it's a fruity floral for, for sure. I got all these scents in the air, so it's messing me up. But this one is so good. It's fruity, like I said, so it's not warm, so you might consider this to be a daytime scent. But again, I do whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like just enjoy, have some fun, have fun with this. Spray it whenever you want to spray your fragrance. Like, you paid for it, okay? This is obviously the big bottle. This is 3.4 ounces. You ain't gotta go that high if you don't want to. This is so good. The bottle is just so sexy. I love Giorgio Armani. Obviously, you know I love my way. We've already gone over all of that. And I'm just excited to add this. This is a sexy, sexy bottle, okay? And then our last one I ordered from Sephora because it was on sale. I was like, Hontua, I'm not gonna miss a sale now. I don't know, it was a random sale. This is Alien Mugler. Mugler, how do you say it? Alien, hold on. Mugler Alien Goddess. These are all Eau de Parfum. I love that. It has a higher concentration of oil in it, and that means it'll last a lot longer. This is a warm floral. This is what I like. And I never even smelled this. I just ordered it, because you know how Sephora gives you suggestions on what you might like? And I look at, and I know, I know by scent type what I like. So when I saw a warm floral, I was like, I have to. I'm gonna like this. So when it came to the mail, I hadn't ever smelled it, and I do like it a lot. So this has bergamot essence. Jasmine Grandiflorum. We know Jasmine Grandiflorum from another fragrance. I think it's in Marc Jacobs Perfect, is it? Let's see how good you know your fragrance is. I think it's in that one. And this is what I do. I look at the fragrances, I look at the scents, and I look at all the notes, and I just start to make connections with what smells like what. I have something else that has that, and I just can't think of what, what, it, what it is. So then it has bourbon vanilla, okay? This one is kind of spicy to me. It feels kind of fresh in a good way, almost aquatic, but it's not aquatic. I don't want to mislead you. It's not aquatic. It's a warm floral, but it's really, really fresh. I love it. I like this a lot. And I have also drenched myself in this already. So those are the six fragrances that I'm going to be rotating through this month. I'm excited to use all of them. I love all of them. I'm going to leave all the links down below for you. Comment and let me know if you have any of these, if you plan on buying any of these, and if you have any recommendations of fragrances that I should add to my collection to try out for you, or you know, like you, you might already know by now what I like, you know what I'm saying? So how about that? You pick got one for me because I, I feel like I got alien from the comments. One of y'all mentioned alien. So give me some more suggestions. I would love to try the fragrances out for you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Also give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you in my next video. And I'm always glad that you're here watching my videos. Bye.